Hey option traders, today let's talk about one of the four basic option strategies known as a short call. Short calls are a simple transaction, much simpler than a multi-leg spread. So rather than dealing with various strike prices and expiration dates, net debits or net credits, you have a simple transaction. You are only selling a call at a single strike price with a single expiration date. As we know, there are only two types of options. There are calls and there are puts. And there are only two things we can do with these options. We can either buy them or sell them. A short call strategy is aimed at profiting from a stable or falling stock price. That means our expectation is that the stock will not rise. This is a riskier strategy because losses are theoretically unlimited. The trade has a higher cost to enter due to the required capital to hold a short position. It is most commonly used as an income generator when there's excess capital in your account. To initiate the trade, you simply sell a short call to collect the premium on the option. It's often used as part of a spread or a hedge, but can also be used as a standalone position. The seller of the call collects the premium in exchange for taking on the obligation to sell the underlying stock to the option buyer at a specified price known as the strike price, if the option is exercised. There is theoretically unlimited max loss on this type of position, but the offset to that risk is that the majority of the options expire worthless. There are a few key things to understand before you initiate this trade. First, the short call strategy is a neutral to bearish strategy that looks to collect the premium as the value of the call decreases over time. The main type of decrease is called theta, or more simply, is the time decay of an option. This time decay is what you are ultimately paying for in a short call strategy. You want the option premium to decline and eventually expire worthless. In this case, expiring worthless is great because it means that you, the option seller, will get to keep all of the premium collected when you open the short position. The main risk for a short call strategy is early exercise of the option by the person who bought the call. If they exercise it early for any reason, you are now obligated to sell them 100 shares per contract at the strike price. This is why you need a large collateral position, because upon exercise, you will now be short 100 shares per contract of the stock. It should be noted that this is fairly rare unless the option is in the money near expiration. Another risk is the price movement of the underlying stock. This is certainly a risk on any stock or option position, but the fact that there is no theoretical maximum loss on a naked short means that it is something extra to watch. You should always be aware when news and earnings drop for a stock that you trade. Please remember that if you're new to options, make sure you practice all of this in a virtual account before risking any real money. And remember that options are complex and investors can lose 100% or more of their investment. Check out the new Options Trader app from IBD for more digestible options education and tons of great trade ideas.